Okay, in this lesson, let's talk about some of the other functionality here. So we've already gone through memberships, groups, rules, coupons. Now, in this video, I want to cover reminders, members, subscriptions, and transactions. So reminders, pretty straightforward. You know, if you wanted to have someone get reminded of something, you could actually set that up here. This is something I haven't used, but um, let's give an example of this. So we could say, <laughs> you know, you could do something like after someone signs up, you could maybe send them a reminder message or a welcome. Um, if a sign up is abandoned, you know, maybe they don't actually finish the sign up process. Uh, maybe a credit card is expiring and you know that you need to remind them that, hey, you know, your credit card is expiring in a month. Um, you know, please re renew it properly, yada, yada. So <laughs> that's kind of what this is utilized for. Um, you know, if we wanted to do something here like, you know, uh, let's see, before credit card expires, send credit card expires, reminder email to user, and you can actually go in and edit that. And they give you a template where you can come in and a lot of that's already built in. So that's one really cool thing about this. So they've got some short codes that are added in that are automatically gonna fill based on what they have. And you can see there's a link to actually go update um, their credit card information. So this is a really cool feature um, that you could integrate some of this stuff. Again, you've even got one for um, sending it after. Um, let's see, you could do after your subscription expires. So you can see here, there's some different ones for that. So that's more or less what you get with reminders. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, again, if you're gonna be utilizing the inbuilt um, processor for payments, this would be something you definitely wanna utilize. Um, and then let's dig into members. I actually am not gonna open this because there's some um, customer information in here, like email addresses and things, but more or less what you get inside that area is you have just a list of the names of the people, their email addresses, um, what they're actually enrolled in, pretty straightforward stuff you know, that you'd expect. And then you've also got subscriptions. Let's take a look at that. So under subscriptions, you're more or less just looking at whether or not they're on a recurring plan or a non-recurring plan. So if I go to non-recurring, this actually also shows email addresses, so I didn't wanna put that in, but you can kinda see an idea. You're gonna get um, an ID, the subscription, if they're active or not, if they're on auto rebuild, what type of membership they're in, the name, their user address, um, what type of gateway they use to purchase, their IP address, um, when it was created and when it expires. So you have all the information you could possibly need about both um, recurring uh, memberships and non-recurring memberships. So in my case, this was one-time purchases that we did for this particular membership. So the 73 people just paid a one-time fee to get in. And then you've also got transactions. So this actually shows when people made these specific purchases. This is a really cool functionality here um, where you can come in and basically see you know, what the transaction details were, if they're on a subscription, what the status of that is, what membership level they're in, how much you earn from it, what the name of the person was, you can see all their names, their user ID, whether or not, what type of gateway they used. In this case, they came in through a free gateway. <coughs> and when they actually created their membership and when it expires. So it's more or less just extra details that you're getting out of this. So in the next video, I'm gonna break down reports and some of the options and things like that that you can utilize for member presses.